What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Tucker Mike. Today's video, we're going to do a video on this bad boy right here and some other tools that uh, you might want to keep on your truck. At least I keep on my truck to fix minor issues. Um, you know, yeah, my truck's under warranty, but you know, if, I'm, if I break a mud flap or, you know, something simple, a sensor, a wire, or whatever, you know, it costs a couple of bucks, it'll save me a lot of time and money if I fix it myself. If you're, if you're any type of mechanically inclined, you know how to use tools, basic tools, you can save yourself a lot of time and money by not going to a truck stop to get repaired or go to a dealership because you could be waiting up to six, you know, six or more hours, even days waiting to get in to get fixed. Um, so I keep a good tool set and some tools to do uh, to fix wire connections. And that's what we're going to talk about today. That's what this video is about. So let's get started. This is a... Uh, 138 piece cobalt tool set. I'll put the link in the description below. But this is what it looks like. It's got your uh, metric sockets, it's got your interior sockets, it's got your basic wrenches. Now I do have a full set of wrenches in my box over here. They're the big ones. I'm not going to get those out, but I do have them. But this has all your basic stuff. It was like $98 or something like that. But it's got three different uh, socket wrenches. It's got your quarter inch, it's got your three eighths, and it's also got a half inch. It's got four of the common imperial wrenches, and it's got four of the metric. It's also got a little, little screwdriver with different bits on them. Here's more of the bits. These right here. And when you get done, you just push them back, in, back into place and they lock in. It's got a couple of extensions, it's got spark plug, which we don't need. But it's got all, it's got the short sockets, it's got every basic socket. I mean, obviously if you need a big one, you know, this kit's not going to have it. You know, the bigger size is up to a one inch, you know, whatever. Um, but this is going to have your most common uh, sockets. It's even got some deep sockets right there. Let's see what else. It's also got it's also got hex keys, metric, and interior. Those come in handy. It just, it just has everything that you need, the basic stuff, to fix basic minor issues. And then it folds up, locks in place, and then you can put it in your side box, or a box, or wherever you, but it's cobalt. 
Now this video ain't sponsored. I bought this myself because all my other tools got rusted, rusty, corroded. So yeah, let me show you a couple other things. Now I also keep this little, looks like an ammo box, but it's not. But I do keep tools, little miscellaneous tools in here. And I also keep uh, a little kit to uh, splice wires, different sizes. To, if you're always going to have wire problems. And if you can spot it, fix it yourself, it's a good idea to keep a kit like this in your truck so you can fix wires yourself. Show you all that. That's what the kit looks like. And of course, you need a good wire stripper cuddle tool, crimper tool. You know, I just keep an assortment of tools that I've used in the past. Screwdrivers, smaller screwdrivers, just all different stuff. It's good to have. So. Anyway, that's my video for today. Um, if you keep tools on your truck to do minor repairs, you're going to save you a lot of time and money. That's just a fact. That's the truth. Um, I don't know what else more to say. I mean, it's just... Uh, Especially when you come across places and you have to pick up a trailer and it's missing a mud flap, but the hanger is still there. If you have tools on your truck, you just stop at a truck stop, go inside there, buy a new mud flap, and then put it on yourself. If you drive for Prime like I do, you call your uh, road assist, they're going to pay you for doing that. And they're going to reimburse you for... Uh, when you turn the receipt in they're going to reimburse you for the price of the mud flap it's not going to cost you at, at the end of the day in the long run it's not going to cost you a thing but maybe 15 20 30 minutes of your time which is better than waiting at a truck stop a few hours six hours to get into the shop for them to fix it don't be lazy but that's it thank you for watching this video if you like this video like comment subscribe and I'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.